Hello stampers! I've got an underwater scene for you today. We got rays coming down from the sun, light coming through the water. All of these great images. I'm going to show you how to stack them so that you get some great depth in your scene. And we're going to be using the Seascapes bundle. It's a stamp set and die bundle. Here's the stamp set. And then we're going to be using the dies, which is the Sea Life dies. They coordinate. Um, we're going to be using this um, out of the die set. Look at these big dies that they have. It's a beautiful set. So we're going to be using that bundle. And we're also going to be using the seashells embossing folder. This goes perfectly with that bundle. It's got seashells all over it. So we're going to be using that also. And we're going to start out with our main image panel and it is basic white and it's three and a half by four and a half and we're going to be using um, the emboss resist technique for this but first I want to mask the bottom of the ocean floor where the sand would be and I'm taking a three by five post-it note and I'm just make, ripping a little bit off of the sticky part of the post-it note just making kind of a rough edge there I didn't want my ocean floor to just be straight across and I'm going to mask, uh, I'm going to say about two-thirds of an inch there at the bottom. And that's where our ocean floor, our sand is going to be. And then we're going to take this image from the stamp set. And we're going to um, use Versamark with it. And this is an old Versamark pad that I have. It's all stained up, but I just keep on um, putting reinker on it. I guess it's called reinker. It's Versamark ink. And we're going to use this, my old pad for this. But if you have a new pristine pad, you know that's all white. You you'll want to clean your image, your stamp in between this images that we're going to be stamping just to keep your Versamark pad from being stained. And we're going to be using Balmy Blue ink. So Versamark, Balmy Blue ink. And first we're going to load the top of the stamp up. You only need to load like the top half of this with Versamark. Then we're going to load it with our Balmy Blue. And then we're going to stamp it. We want some little like grasses here along the bottom of the panel. See, I don't have to clean my stamp in between because I'm using this old stained pad. I keep it around for just this occasion. And you're going to stamp, keep stamping these. Load it with Versamark, load it with ink. I'm asked quite a bit, does this affect your ink pads? I have never seen any um, issues with my ink pads after do, doing this loading with Versamark first. Okay, you want quite a few here, just so it um, looks nice and full. We want it to kind of look like there's grasses and little short grasses at the bottom of this panel here. So that's what I have. Most of the majority of the image went on the post-it note. So that Versamark makes your ink sticky on your stamp. So now we can um, go ahead and heat emboss these grasses. And as we're building our scene, uh, we're going to be putting, you, when you do emboss resist and you start building your scene backwards, you're going to start in the foreground, your closest images, and work backwards. So this is the closest to us. I'm going to add some clear embossing powder. And then I'm going to heat these up with our heat tool and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got these all heated up. I only heated them till they got shiny. I didn't heat them any further because you can actually overheat your embossed images. And when you do that, they sink into the paper and that is not what we're trying to achieve. We just want them to turn shiny and that's enough. So we have those done. Now we're going to put our next layer in. So we're going to be using this stamp here. And I'm going to use my 
just my Versamark for this. And when I just use Versamark on white cardstock, when you heat emboss it with clear embossing powder, your image will be white. So I'm going to ink this up with my Versamark. And I'm going to stamp one on this side of the cardstock. And then I'm going to put Versamark back on. And I'm going to add one to this side of the cardstock, probably a little lower. I want them to look a little different. So that is that image. And then we're going to heat emboss this. I like to keep my clear embossing powder in a tub. It's much easier to use that way. Okay, so we have those with clear embossing powder. Now I'm going to heat this up and I will be right back. Okay, I have those two images heated up. I'm sure you can't see them because they are clear, but we're going to bring them to life when we get some ink on the paper. I have one more image that I want to put on here, and we're going to do this um, blue image that we did earlier, only we're going to just use Versamark for this. And I'm going to stamp that right in the middle There we go. And then I'm going to heat emboss this. So I'm bringing my clear powder back out here. So I'm going to heat this up and I'll be right back. I think I'm going to stamp one more image. I'm going to stamp this image that we just did in Versamark. I'm going to stamp it in, let's see, let's stamp it in Misty Moonlight. And that'll put it kind of back in the background. So I'm going to stamp it here. And I think that's it. I just wanted to get another color in there. You're like, oh, Michelle, you just stamped those right over your embossed images. Well, you know what? They they resist, those embossed images resist that ink. So we're going to just wipe over those. It's okay if a little blue gets on your white because we're getting ready to color over that anyway. Now, we've got one more embossed image to do. And I'm going to take this post-it note off. And there's our sandy part. And there's this little like speckled stamp in the stamp set and we're going to use that and we're going to just use Versamark to stamp this with and we're going to stamp it a couple times. We're going to stamp it once and then stamp it again for the other side of the sandy part. Just make sure you have some going all the way across. And then we're going to heat emboss that, that those speckled images. Okay, I have those sandy, the sandy part all embossed those little speckles. Okay, now the fun part. We're going to start putting our color in. This is so fun. I just love embossing and then when you get to the color part and everything just springs to life, it's so wonderful. So we're going to use Balmy Blue ink to start with. We're going to put our Balmy Blue ink along the top here. Now I want like, uh, like the bottom of a circle at the very top with no ink. That's going to be where our light is coming through the top of the water. You see that there? I just want to leave a little bit of that white showing. And then the rest of the cardstock you're just going to use your blending brush and blend on down through here. We're going to put this all over even though we're going to get darker yet. Um, I like to 
have my lightest color, like my base coat for my panel. Layering colors is so much better than just putting stripes of color. That way it, it just looks more natural. If you do like a stripe of light blue and a stripe of dark blue and get a little darker, it's just not the same as if you're blending them on top of each other. So there's my lightest color and see how those embossed images just start popping out there. And the darker your ink color you put over top of them, the darker, I mean the more that they spring forward. So that was balmy blue. And I'm going to go to a darker blue brush here and we're going to do misty moonlight. So I'm going to start here a little bit lower than the balmy blue and I'm going to do like that same curve that we have at the top in the white. I want it on my panel there and then just blend. Now the further you go down the page the more darker you want to be because we want it lightest at the top, like the light is shining down and it'll be naturally darker at the bottom. Don't worry that your images are turning blue. We're going to take care of that. It's all good. Okay, so that is the Misty Moonlight. And I'm going to get darker yet. I'm going to go to Night of Navy. And I want it really dark, like right above the sandy area. And the sandy area. So the sandy area and just above it. I want that Night of Navy. There we go. So now we have our three blues on there. And we're going to take our paper towel. And we're just going to lightly, now lightly, we're wiping the ink off of our embossed images. You don't want to scrub them because you can actually scrub the ink, the embossing right off of them. And then it gets really ugly really fast. So there. See how they just pop forward? Isn't that pretty? Okay, for our rays. I'm going to flip my paper over here because I don't want to pick up that blue in my white ink. So we're going to use Whisper White ink. And a post-it note. Got my 3x5 post-it note again. And we're going to be using a sponge with this. So I just got a piece of sponge here and I'm going to put this post-it note like right down the middle. I'm not measuring this but we're just going to estimate where the middle is here. And I'm picking up some of the Whisper White ink and then I'm going to go along the post-it note edge here and I just want it to get a little stripe of that white next to the post-it note. Okay, so I'm using a back and forth motion, not a circular motion here. And I'm just taking it down. Um, I wouldn't go in the sand area, I'd stay above that. So from the top of the cardstock down to the sand area. Okay, so there's our first ray. And now we're just going to like space them out. I'm going to move my post it note and I'm kind of moving it at an angle here a little bit. So I'm going to put in another ray. And then I'm going to move my post-it note and we're going to continue this until we get as many rays as we'd like. Remember your rays fan out. They don't go just straight down. They're fanning out. So when I'm a little bit wider at the bottom than they are at the top, um, distance from each other is what I'm talking about. Okay. 
this white goes a long way so you really don't have to ink up every time that you uh, move your post-it note. We're going to keep going here until we have them just coming off the page there. All right, And then we're going to turn our, our panel this way and go the opposite direction. Fun, right? Turns out really pretty, that light coming through. You can use this with your mermaid stamps or, you know, just seashells. It's just really pretty having that light come through the top of the water. And it's easy to create. Okay. So there we have it. There's your rays of light. You can put this up, and this is a good time to go wash your hands because you're going to have white ink all over, and you don't want fingerprints all over your um, panel here. Okay, I got clean hands and I'm back. Now it's time to start putting our, our card together. I die cut one of these coral pieces out of basic white and then I'm going to cut it in half. I'm just here at the very base I'm just going to cut it in half so that we have a piece for the side of our um, card front. So it's going to stick out on the side there. So here are our card pieces. We have a basic white panel that's three by five and an eighth. All the panel sizes are down below this video. Just click show more and you're going to see them there with all the links to the products also. So I'm going to adhere this to that white panel. I just like that little bit of white around the edge. Kind of holds your scene in. There we go brings your eye in. Okay, and then I have a Knight of Navy panel. We're going to cut two panels um, that are 4 by 5.25. One we're going to emboss and the other one's for the inside of the, the card. Again, we I emboss this using the Seashells 3D embossing folder. And I use the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. So there's that, that's going to go right on our card front. This is a basic white card base. It's five and a half by eight and a half, and then I fold it in half for a quarter card. We're going to adhere our emboss panel on. Just centered that on the front of the card stock. There we go. I like to flip this over and rub it and that kind of holds that down a little better and then we're going to add our main image panels on here and I'm coming about an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the Knight of Navy panel here okay There is that, and then we're going to add our coral piece. This is a simple, simple um, card layout. A lot of times I want simplicity in my card layouts just so that um, I don't take from my scene that I just put all that time in creating. So there's our coral piece. And then just for the inside, I added that other Knight of Navy panel that's 4 by 5.25. And then I have a 3 and 3 quarters by 5 basic white panel in there. You can put any sentiment you want in here. This is just a nice everyday card. 
So there's our project for today. I hope you enjoyed it and you give it a try. Embossed Resist is so much fun. Thanks for joining me. Bye.